um, if y is equal to the x to the power of n, well then when I differentiate that, I get n times x to the power of n minus 1. So if y was equal to x to be cubed, dy dx will become 3 times x to be squared. If y was equal to x to the power of 7, dy dx will be equal to 7 times x to the power of 6. If y was equal to 4x to be squared, dy dx, when I differentiate it, will be 2 4s, 8x to the power of 1, which is 8. If y was equal to 5x, 5x means 5x to the power of 1. So therefore, dy dx would be equal to, once 5 is 5, x to the power of 0, which is 5 times. Any number to the power of 0 is 1, which is 5. From that, you'd know if y is equal to ax, what would dy dx turn out to be? A. Yes? If y is equal to a constant, that is a number without x in it, if y was equal to 10, well then dy dx is 0. Therefore, we know that the derivative of a constant always turns out to be 0. And it would be fairly straightforward for you. Now, if y was equal to the square root of x, that would mean y is equal to x to the power of a half. Well, then dy dx would become 1 half x to what power? minus a half, because the power reduces by 1, which is 1 half by x to the minus a half means 1 over x to the power of a half. A negative power means 1 over. So that's 1 over 2 root x. If y was equal to 1 over x squared, that would be like saying y is equal to x to what power? Minus 2. So therefore, dy dx is equal to minus 2 times x to which power? Minus 2, which is minus 2. x to the minus 3, 1 over x cubed, which is minus 2 over x to the cubed. Have you any questions about any of that? If y was equal to x to the power of a half, minus x to the 3 over 2, minus 8x. Well, when they're added or subtracted, you differentiate them one over after the other. x to the half, 1 half x to the minus a half, minus x to the 3 over 2, 3 over 2 times x to the power of a half, minus 8x, minus 8. That is 1 over 2 root x, minus 3 over 2 times the square root of x minus 8 would be its derivative. Have you any questions there? If y is equal to 3x cubed minus 2x squared plus 6x minus 1 over x. To differentiate that, I'd write this line. y is equal to 3x cubed minus 2x squared plus 6x minus 1 over x, x to the power of minus 1. Then dy dx would become 3 trees are 9x squared minus 4x plus 6 plus 1 x to the power of minus 2. Minus 1 by minus 1 plus 1 and reduce the power. So it would be 9x squared minus 4x plus 6, plus 
x to the minus 2, 1 over x to b squared. That would be its derivative. Have you any questions there? If I gave you y equal to x squared plus x over root x, I could say y, I could divide root x into both of them. Yes? So it's x squared over root x plus x over root x. y would be equal to x to the power? 3 over 2 plus x to the power of a half. So like when you're dividing, what do you do with the power? You subtract. So therefore, dy dx, x to the 3 over 2, 3 over 2x to the power of a half. Plus x to the half, 1 half x to the minus a half. So that's 3 over 2 root x plus 1 over 2 root x. And I said y is equal to x to the 4 minus 16 all over x minus 2. I could divide in the x minus 2. I can say the top is x squared plus 4 by x squared minus 4, x plus 2 by x minus 2 over x minus 2. What did I do there? I factorized at the top. That's like y is equal to x cubed plus 2x squared plus 4x plus 8. And now I could differentiate dy dx to be 3x squared plus 4x plus 4, and differentiate 8 is 0. And that's just a little revision of that first exercise since then.